You ever had that friend that when they're talking, it's like they don't hear or acknowledge anything else around them? Wi-Fi is like that also. Click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and let's find out what makes Wi-Fi different. First, we have to understand something called a router. Likely when you refer to wireless, you actually call it a router, which is not quite correct. In the wireless world, we just call those access points. And oddly enough, a lot of the systems that we use, the higher end systems, have less functionality. And it's because there's dedicated systems for routing and switching and all these other things that you might have likely learned about so far. So we just call these boxes access points or APs. So what makes Wi-Fi different? Well, A, the lack of physical connection. That's why Wi-Fi is awesome, because we can walk around and we can walk many, you know, distance, you know, miles and kilometers before we may even get disconnected, say we're connected in a city. But there's also some differences that makes Wi-Fi very difficult. One of the things that makes it complicated is that it, every communication with Wi-Fi is one direction at a time. So right now I'm talking to you, that's one direction. In wireless, that has to complete before somebody talks to me. And so there's that, that very distinct back and forth that occurs. In wired networking, it's called full duplex, where it's full direction all the time, but with wireless, it's half duplex, one at a time. Here's what makes it even worse. That box that you have in your home, an access point, can serve many clients. Maybe it's serving a whole family or even you know, 30, 40, 50 people. Only one device can transmit at a time. In wired networking, all of them can transmit at one time. But you're saying, wait a minute, I've been with a bunch of friends and we're all surfing the internet, we're all uploading Instagram pictures simultaneously. What do you mean only one can transmit at a time? Transmissions are measured in millionths of a second, very short bursts of, of transmission. What may seem instantaneous where everybody's doing it at the same time, it's actually one, then the other, then the other, then the other, but it's happening so quickly that it feels like everyone is doing it at once. With that comes some challenges. Let's imagine you have that device or that friend that has a really old, slow phone their phone or their device could actually slow everyone else down. Why? Because when it transmits, when it talks, it talks slower. So what makes devices faster or slower? There's a lot of factors here. Again, in wired networking, if you have a 100 meter cable, whether you're at that 100 meter mark or one meter away, you get the same service, the same speed. With Wi-Fi, the farther you get from your access point, the worse service you get, not only because you have less signal, but there's a lot of other factors going on. So as you get farther away, you'll actually get slower and slower and slower. And remember, when you talk slow, everyone else has to wait for you. Remember, we're sharing this access point. One of the other problems that exist in wireless is this lack of knowing if your transmission got through. If you and I are having a conversation sitting across the table and I say something, I'll know if you heard me or not because I can see you nodding or maybe there was no other noise at the time. No, uh, nobody dropped a, a bunch of plates and made noise that interrupted my communication. Wired is cool like that. Wired actually knows if something bad happened. Wireless, Wi-Fi does not know that. Wireless just keeps on talking and then says, wow, that was really great what I said. I hope you heard it. So in order to make sure that wireless Wi-Fi has this nice clean connection, there's what's called acknowledgements. So every time I talk, you would say, hey GT, I heard you. That's a positive acknowledgement. That also happens in wireless and it does not happen in the wired world. Let's say I start talking about something very controversial. We're gonna say that American football is better than any other kind of football. But what happens if I'm saying this to a crowd, and they're all good people, probably Canadians, and when I get done talking, what's going to happen though? Boom, everybody's gonna talk at the same time, saying, oh, you're great, GT, you're so smart. And others are like, dude, you're not smart. Yeah, you're wrong, you're an idiot. But what's guaranteed to happen is multiple transmissions at one time. That's bad. Now there's no controversy type thing like that in wireless, but if there's a lot of traffic in an area, if a lot of something cool is going on, maybe you're at a concert or a football game, 
where a lot of people are sending data, these collisions can occur. These collisions that I'm talking about are very bad for a wireless network. Wired does not have that. Wired doesn't even have a concept of collisions really much anymore. One of the other interesting things to think about with wireless is there's always bad service. There's no such thing as perfect service. So let's talk about your house. You get out of your car and you start walking into your home. There is a point when you have really bad signal, no matter somewhere, it's really bad, and eventually it becomes really good. But there's this bad service area that just always exists in wireless. Again, wire doesn't have such things. There are a number of factors that are different with wireless, but let's just summarize a few key ones. A, it's mobile, that's why we love it. B, uh, you, you can move from access point to access point. It gives you that awesome mobility. See some downsides. It's very dependent on how much signal you have, how close you are to your access point. The service, bad service from other devices can cause you to also have bad service. There's these things called collisions that can happen and a lot of other things that can make wireless very difficult. That's why we all know that Wi-Fi is never as good as the wire but it gives us a lot of advantages, like we've talked mobility and the freedom to move, and it's just very easy to get connected.